Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, playing some more TerraTech. Welcome back. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're having a good day. Or having a good one. <laughs> kind of throw that out there a lot, don't I? So anyway, this time I figure, you know, better clear these little little guys out. I almost said something bad there. Oh, close. Always trying to censor myself. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get that little bit of a mess cleaned up. And as I'm getting into this, you know... You know, I do want to say thanks for joining me. I do appreciate all the support, the likes, the feedback. Kind of lets me know what you guys are into. That way, you know, concentrate on more maybe showing that instead of just random stuff as I find it interesting. Or hopefully, maybe that's what you like. <laughs> Hoping it works out. So I very better stop back here for a quick recharge, and I'm not gonna go take this little fella out. I figure since I'm at it, I might as well clear them all out. Best I can, anyway. And since I have that one extra, kind of makes it convenient. Some of these fellers just hanging out on the hilltop, checking on my situation. Can't be a while in that, eh? Take them out. Take it. There you go, all tough pieces. Haha, <laughs> now your buddy's turn. So you got the offer. Oh, he's getting me pretty good. Oh. I won. I died last. <laughs> oh, I get a prize when I come back to there. Oh, there it is. And there I am. Put me right by my base. Ooh. Speeding her up. What do I get? I got a few good blocks there. Kind of went a little quick. So yeah, i kind of been trying to get to this point for a little while now. I want to get started on the silo and sorting and conveyor setup. So what I'm going to... I've been doing this one a little different. A lot of my other bases, I've linked all the silos directly together. That's like my main storage area. Everything transfers down the line, yada yada. goes to the fabricator. Well, this, since it's a scrapping base, and there's four cores, i got a pit for each one. Well, what I'm going to have it do is each side feeds into the one side mainly, and then if I need to, I'll be able to swap it back and forth from side to side. So I could have the same identical inventory of resources on both sides pumping out the same blocks, because I'm going to hopefully have more than one fabricator. So if everything works out good, I can have double everything, or I can have multiple things, I could switch it up. It'll, I think it'll really be a good thing to help me be able to manufacture blocks from different cores, maybe even the same core but multiple blocks, different blocks, more of the same thing at one time, all that kind of good stuff. So that's what I'm shooting for. But the hard part, since there is going to be so many options to it, is getting these frickin' conveyors right. Because you put them the wrong way, well, that might interfere with another line that you're going to have to have later, just so you get the extra option. So I, I plan on this taking a while. And as I put those in, later on down the road, I'll let you know their secret. Find that having filters on the out is not the greatest. Because at least, or at the best, you're going to have a lot more switches to turn on for things to work. At the worst... You forget to switch the switches, and it just passes everything right on through as it goes in. Jams things up. Pain in the butt. So I figured I'd take a little break from that. i got to figure out all the features I really do want in there. I'm going to fill in my battery box on this side. So I got a tack, and a little sucker got me on the side that I didn't have shields. I did not care for that kind of behavior. So I'm going to put a stop to that right about here. Figure if I put some shields on it, at least he ain't going to hurt me. And with all these batteries, he ain't going to take them out. Well, not the size of enemies have been coming around. The close kind of enemies. Get it a little farther at the edge of this salt flat, so they've been getting a little bigger. I'd worry about them, so I don't have shielding all through this thing. It's just perimeter. But as I build it up, I'm going to... I'll just continue up with it. I got kind of an idea on how to defend this base, so I don't have to overload it with bubbles. Because the bubbles, they're alright. But they do look kind of silly when you get like 300 of them or something. 
I don't know what I'm at right now. It's, it's a few, though. I think I gotta be close to, uh, well, I'd say 30 of each. Probably pretty quick. I don't know. It'll be more than that by the time it's over, though. So now I got that battery box all kind of wrapped up. Get her shielded again and move on to the next little section of fun. So as you can see, I doubled the on the other side. I got my scrappers on in there. Already working. One thing I've found, the GSO scrapper and all that, it is about the most reliable of them all. For some weird reason. I haven't done like a million hours of scrapping or nothing, but the amount I have done, it seems like you can throw down a ton of a GSO block and they'll eventually scrap all of them. It has, doesn't really stall out as much as the other ones do or juggle them around or fumble them or I'm not sure. Maybe it's just I haven't put enough of those blocks in to do it. But I know with Venture, if you dump about 50 to I think I had 50 last time in there. It'll eventually clog up. Just keeps juggling them. So what I've come to start doing after I realized that, hey, if I only put 10 in per scrapper, things work nicer that way. It seems like it's trying to get them in a specific order, which doesn't always help. Just keep rotating them, and if you have a magnet in there, that might even be interfering. So a little more testing maybe I should do and get a better answer, I guess. But for now, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm probably taking the magnets right out of that. But first, I want to get my defender all tuned up. He took a little bit of a whoop in there and uh, those auto saves before death, they don't always get you right at the, when you still have a full tech. Sometimes it's halfway into a battle and this is what you get <laughs> when you get brought back. Pay your good money for two thirds of your tech. Yeah, oh. Get that figured out. So I kind of fair, you know, since I'm working on it, I'll give it a little bit of an update, change it around a touch. Hopefully make it a little more menacing and prepared for what's to come. The worst possible thing, not having enough. Get an enemy that's just that little bit bigger. You're just wailing on you know watch all your hard work go to death oh, go to crap just because you needed those two extra shots per round or I had her happen there was once I almost cried I lost a lot that time I didn't really almost cry but it sucked it's one of those times where it's like yeah I'm gonna just quit now <laughs> oh yeah take a break That might be a tad big. Don't really want to be regenerating the enemies as they come in and try and take me out. But sometimes you just you can do more damage than you're going to heal them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Especially with a front end like that, four drills, a bunch of guns, a couple missiles that are going to tag them each time. Yeah. I don't think I'm recharging them that much, but it does take off your battery though. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And since I'm not generating power as I go, well, that's a concern. Yeah, it's always good to have radar. Very, very important. I'm kind of thinking that's almost about nice. As far as the shape of it, we'll keep her simple, but effective. There, give her a little more of a, a defensive ability at the back. I kind of notice that it seems like we get the color changes between the sides, but when it's in the middle, it picks the one color. So maybe we could have a blue for when it's in the middle? That'd be kind of a neat idea, I think. I think that's pretty dang good for that little fella. Let's go and try him out. <laughs> yeah, he seems fairly effective against these fellows. They're not the biggest guys out there, but 
There's four of them. And you've taken care of them pretty handily. Ha ha. Get these guys tidied up. They'll be good for scrapping later. Oh, nice, nice. Terminal. Got a few good parts there. Can't be wrong with that. But I think right about here is about a good time to call her as I take this. Oh, you didn't have a chance. <laughs> so yeah, if you like the video, you know what to do. Give me that little blue thumb down there. Comments as to why or why not if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you do or just subscribing, make sure you ding the bell so you get notified when I got something new and interesting that you may be interested in. And by nightfall, I was making money. Gotta like it. Need to cash up a little bit. And also, if you have a cool original tech you'd like a video made for, post it through my link in the description there to the territory or territory <laughs> Terra Tech thread. And any instructions needed, make sure you got an in-game snapshot or save game. That way, I'll have something to work with. The screenshots don't work, so make sure it's a snapshot. And yeah, I'll take her from there, and I'll let you know when I got her ready. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome. Have a good one. Bye.